Open the file FEA-2.dwg from Chapter 8 folder of the exercise files. This assembly needs to have a finite element analysis run, and half of this process has already been done. Here in the FEA 2D calculation dialog box, the load, support, material, and thickness have already been set. The next step is to place a mesh. Notice that the elements are going to be placed as triangles, and there is a factor of 0.97 applied to the sizing. This mesh value is an overall average of the mesh size through your model and can be adjusted to make a finer model or a coarser model. You may also edit the mesh to change the value of its density in any individual area, but first you must place an overall mesh. Click the mesh command and there the initial mesh is applied. As you can see, it is very coarse and needs to be tightened up in the area where the loads are being applied and also where the supports are lowered, notch is located. Press enter to return to the dialog box. To refine the mesh, you have two choices, select a point or select an area. For the first choice, in the refine group box, click the left mesh button, then in the drawing, you indicate a point and the mesh density is doubled up in that area. Press enter and the mesh has now been doubled in the region near that load. For the second choice, click the right mesh button under refine. You indicate the desired area by using a window selection method and the mesh will be increased in that area. Press enter to return to the dialog box. There is also automatic choice to refine the mesh. Check the box next to Atom, then enter a value for the number of times you want it refined. For this example, enter 3 for 3 times. At this point, you've already run the analysis. The choices for analysis are stresses, shear stresses, or deflections. Click the first button on the left in the results group box to run the normal stresses analysis first. The FEA 2D ISO lines ISO areas dialog box opens. Here, under the results, you have a choice to run a von Mises stress analysis or a stress in just the X or Y axis, as well as an option for shear stresses or a displacement analysis. On the right, at the bottom, there's a checkbox to set the intervals in the stress results automatically, and under graphic representation, you can choose whether you'd like to see the stress results in terms of individual lines or filled in areas. Keep the von Mises stress in automatic intervals, but change to full regions. Click OK. The results after refining has only improved by less than a percent. Mechanical asks if you wish to continue refining. Click No and the stress result is shown in the drawing window. For the representation, you're prompted to pick a base point, or press Enter if you'd like the results to stay in that boundary area. Indicate a base point then pull the results over to the right, then place the stress legend. Press enter and you're back in the FEA dialog box, and now you can run the deflection. Click the third button under results, and the FEA 2D displacement dialog box opens. Again, you have a choice of manual or automatic scaling of the results. Leave that in automatic and click OK. There's the resulting deflection. And again, for the representation, you have a chance to pick a base point and then a location. Place it below the stress results representation, then place a legend next to it. Press enter to return to the FEA 2D calculation dialog. To enter the configuration options, click the config button at the bottom to open the FEA configuration dialog box. Here you can set the level of detail for the coloring and also what the layer group is that the results are placed on. Click Cancel. You can delete your results, which will clear the entire analysis, or delete just a solution, which will delete the mesh and the results. But leave the loads and the supports in their places. This is a useful choice if you wish to further refine your mesh.